Welcome back to Wildlife Wednesday. Today we're talking about some of my favorite fall foragers, squirrels. Now in the squirrel or Scuridae family, we have marmots, ground squirrels, chipmunks, but today I wanna to talk about Montana's native tree squirrels. Now in Montana, we have two native species of tree squirrels, red squirrels and northern flying squirrels. Red squirrels are tiny opportunistic foragers that will eat seeds from pine cones, bark, berries. They have even been known to collect and lay out mushrooms to dry so that they will last longer. If you've ever been walking through the forest and found a pile of pine cones, pine scales, and seeds beneath a tree, you may have found a squirrel midden. Red squirrels will store big stashes of pine cones below a favorite tree, and when they're ready for a snack, they'll climb up to a branch, peel off the scales, and eat the nutritious seeds inside, leaving behind a pile of midden. Now, red squirrels are very territorial and very noisy, so they may scold you if you get close to their stash. Our other native species of squirrel, the northern flying squirrel, are nocturnal, elusive, and hard to study. While they are called flying squirrels, they are not capable of true sustained flight, but they are excellent gliders. They can glide as far as 150 feet. They have a patagium or fold of skin that stretches between their front and back legs. This is what forms bats' wings as well. The largest tree squirrel in the state is the non-native eastern fox squirrel. This species was originally found in eastern and midwestern states, but they've slowly moved west both naturally and with the help of humans. In some towns, this species has reached excessive numbers. They invade your shed and your attic, get into your prized vegetables in your garden, and as many of us know, bird feeders are especially attractive to this species and notoriously difficult to squirrel proof. Keeping your attractants properly stored can help keep squirrels out of your yard, away from your garden, and luckily, we have some really powerful predators like owls and pine martens that can help keep squirrel populations in check. Thanks for coming to another Wildlife Wednesday. And after all that, I hope you're as nuts about squirrels as I am.